Hello, welcome to Bailey's Shooting. This week we're taking a look at the PAR 007. That is this little device here. Um, very lightweight, very handy, very, very small, uh, very simple to use, very simple to fit to your rifle. Um, just overall, I'm really impressed. They're 400 quid um, or 399. Um, some pages have got discount codes with um, certain suppliers uh, out there, so you can always get little deals. I think uh, Ludacris Lumens have got a deal with Fox Stoppers. Um, I think Envy UK have got a deal with Blackwood Outdoors. So these are out there and you can get them for a decent price. And not only that, you can buy them with packages with IR sources as well, be it PBIRL. Um, the one that Ludacris Lumens does, I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, so they're all out there. But this is the little device itself. It's got its own IR source built on, which is a small laser, which is focusable by pulling in and out. That's quite a nice little feature. Uh, it's got a laser red dot sight on there as well, um, for whatever you wanted to use that for, whether you wanted to use it as an indication thing for showing somebody else where you're about to shoot. Uh, the controls are nice and simple on it. They're all there. So you've got your brightness up and down. You've got your photo or your video. You've got IR on or day mode on. Uh, with three different settings for the IR. Uh, the menu system is really, really simple to use, uh, and you've got the Wi-Fi on and off. This can connect to your phone via an app downloadable from your app store, be it Android or iOS. Um, on the side here, this is where you put your memory card, and you can also plug this into your computer, and so on and so forth. Uh, it runs off an 18650 battery. Um, I've been recommended to use nippleless batteries in it, um, I don't know the reason for this, but as I've borrowed this unit uh, from a mate, I will do as he says, and I will use nippleless batteries in there. Uh, this one has the uh, got the 16 millimeter lens in, uh, as you can see in there. But uh, but yeah, as a small unit, I think uh, for for less than well, just shy of 400 quid, uh, I'm impressed compared to what else is on the um, on the market at the minute. I mean. It's a really affordable option, especially as a factory-made unit. Uh, I mean, a lot of the DIY or uh, home-built kits are uh, costing around about the same money. But yeah, anyway, so fit into the rifle. This rifle is unloaded. My bolt is out. The bayonet fitting that you actually get looks like this. And it goes onto your rifle as far as you can get it, as you can see. Uh, you do get shims, so you can uh, add shims in for this and that. For different size uh, scopes on the back. Um, if not, they do come with a roll of insulation tape, so a couple of wraps around with insulation tape, and you're good to go. And the device itself, if I can do this now, goes on really, really easy. So quite literally, it's a quarter to turn in. So you'll find it, push it home, and that's it. That is on locked on it's not going anywhere it's firm now don't get me wrong yes you are adding about five inches to the back of your scope however for me I use a GRS stock so I can adjust this fully out and I can lower my cheek piece as far down as I need to and it still gives me a shooting uh, a comfortable shooting position um, so yeah that's that's not too bad for me with an adjustable uh, adjustable stock obviously people without an adjustable stock you're gonna have to make some little changes maybe get a limb saver put on the back or whatever but the device itself quite simple I've gave you the basic run around uh, what I recommend is with your scope winding your ocular end all the way in as if it was when it came from the factory so no adjustment for glasses anything on your actual scope um, mount the bayonet fitting on get it snugged up um, I'd normally mount the bayonet fitting with this actually fitted so you can get it true and centre uh, and then look through just to fine tune to make sure you're getting your crosshairs nice and level in the actual uh, picture on here. Uh, at first your crosshairs will be fuzzy, that's what you'll use this side wheel for, this little wheel here for, this focus ring underneath, that will get your crosshairs nice and crisp. As soon as you've got your crosshairs crisp with that, that's it for using that, the rest of the time it's going to be done for looking at your images with both either side focus or an adjustable objective which is something I strongly strongly recommend to use if you're going to mount one of these on a scope I do genuinely recommend using a scope that's got side focus or an adjustable objective uh, if not you're only going to get a clear image at the uh, distance that your scope is parallax fixed at 
So if it's a 100 yard parallax scope, 100 yards is going to be your best picture and that's it. Anything closer, anything further away, you're going to struggle. That's my take on it anyway. Uh, for glasses wearers, once this is fitted, you can adjust the eyepiece at the back to obviously uh, compensate for your focus um, on the overall image that you're seeing through the screen. So yeah, really simple little device to use. Um, I'm genuinely impressed with it for the price. Um, I've had a little bit of a play with it, nothing major as yet because the weather hasn't been the best uh, and we've been quite busy in the shop. But this was just a little introduction just to let you see the device itself. Um, and I'm going to bang some uh, footage in after this video um, of some night vision shooting and uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll get a fox with it as well and get that on camera which would be quite nice. So yeah, thanks for watching, Pod 007. Yeah, hey! Hey! Ah! Ah! As you can see, this is the part 007. I'm taking a shot on a fox. The round does go slightly high, but it uh, has a desired effect. And uh, once it does its little death dance, uh, it comes to rest. Uh, this next fox is about uh, 200 yards out. I've got about a 15 mile an hour wind, so I allow for that by aiming on the shoulder and it's uh, covering the neck as well. And as you can see, the round actually does drift across and hits the fox just behind the ear and drops it on the spot. So overall, it's a decent little unit. You can use it both day and night, as you can see in this uh, clip here. And uh, I think it's great value for the price of £399. So uh, go and find your local stockists and see if you can get some deals on the pages on Facebook, like through Envy UK and Fox Stoppers. Once again, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.